Howdy, welcome back to the Entheos Initiative. In this video, I want to discuss the three types of people when it comes to goals and promises. I call them drifters, snipers, and trackers. Now let's discuss each of them. Now, drifters, it's a term I borrowed from Napoleon Hill. They are unsuccessful individuals. They drift wherever life takes them. They have no purpose. They have no goals, no objectives. Now, these people might set goals because that's what they're supposed to do, but they never reach these goals. They let the world and others dictate what happens to them. Uh, many, if not most of them, depend on someone else for their basic necessities. Uh, drifters usually live paycheck to paycheck and really have no desire to get out of their current situation or improve themselves. They are content with their circumstances. In fact, they might even hate their circumstances and want to get out, but not enough to actually change them. Now, unfortunately, drifters make up the majority of the population. They conform to social norms because that's what everyone else is doing. They follow fads because that's what everybody else is doing. Um, once that fad is over, they usually jump to the next fad for no other reason than everyone else is. They go to college because that's what they're supposed to do, but not because they want an education. They get a job because that's what they're supposed to do. And it's usually a job that they don't like. Uh, they tend to live under the radar at their jobs, doing just, just enough not to get fired. And then they head home after work to do, well, anything as long as they don't have to think about it or really put forth any effort. Uh, I hope this doesn't sound like you, but if it does, um, I'm glad you purchased the promise code because you're wanting to change that and become one of the other two types of people. The other two types are successful individuals. These are individuals that are progressively realizing a definite chief aim without violating the rights of others as, as uh, Napoleon, not, yeah, Napoleon Hill uh, talks about. These are the people that have a passion and uh, these are the people that love trying new things. Uh, these are the people that I like to call snipers and trackers. Now let's start with snipers. Now snipers are your target hitters. They are goal oriented people. They love hitting a goal, whatever it is. They're addicted to it. They are completely content hitting goal after goal after goal in any endeavor, any subject or any field. And then once they've accomplished a goal, they jump right into the next one and the next one and the next one. Now don't confuse snipers though with drifters. Drifters also jump from one endeavor to the next, but they never finish them. They actually seldomly finish anything. Snipers, on the other hand, they find a target, they have a goal, and they will pursue that goal, a single goal, for as long as it takes until they get it. They hit their target. They achieve their goals. Only then do they move on to the next goal. A lot of the time, snipers are driven really just by doing better than they did before. They're driven by self-improvement, by growth. They compete against themselves, uh, though they can be very competitive individuals. Um, now, if they're presented with a challenge, they will do it. No ifs, ands, or buts. They will do it even if it kills them. Again, it doesn't matter the subject or the, or the, the field or what the goal is, except for one thing. They are the ones that set the goal. It is rare that they will work on goals set by someone else and they will accomplish those. However, the goal must be something that they want to do. <clears throat> now in the military, snipers go through rigorous training. They learn the tools of their trade inside and out. They know the basics are, are key to hitting their target. They know every inch of their rifle. 
They study math and physics related to their bullet trajectory. They study windage, range estimation, how to lead a target, how to read dope. Uh, they study the effects of weather on the trajectory of their ammunition and how that also affects their bullet drop. They study harmonics in relation to their rifles. They learn how their weapon fires cold bore or hot. They study breathing techniques and other stress relieving skills. Uh, not to mention the thousands of rounds they send down range. But all of this is in preparation for the mission. It's to prepare to hit their target, no matter how different this target is from their last target. Now in goal setting and, and keeping promises, success snipers, they do the same. They understand and have a clear knowledge of the basics. They, and these basics, they don't change goal to goal. Each goal has its own set of obstacles to overcome, just like a military sniper on a mission. But the basics create a foundation to get past those. Now, what are these basics? I'll have other videos that go into these. Uh, if you want to learn more about what these are, make sure to subscribe below and to hit the bell, bell icon. Um, but after you do that, let's talk about trackers. The tracker, on the other hand, is driven by a passion for one specific field. Now, it can be any field, but it's one field. Sometimes there's two or three, but usually not more than that. And it's usually just the one. They are most happy when they are working in that particular field. Put these individuals in another field, and they don't do very well. They, they struggle. And I call these individuals trackers. Because just like when you're tracking an animal, the tracker becomes engrossed by the trail and will follow that trail for as long as possible, really knowing full well that they might never reach the end of it. In fact, the trail continues forever. But the tracker is okay with that. They are learning and growing within their passion and they're becoming better at it. Uh, finding the next track becomes everything to them. Each track along the trail teaches them something new. Now, just like snipers, trackers must learn the basics of tracking. These basics don't change. Knowing the basics, the tracker can see the slight differences in the tracks that he or she is following to be able to tell them tell the difference between their, those tracks and other tracks. Uh, Trackers study print shapes and sizes. They study different gates, uh, including the length of a gate, uh, the straddle, the stride, and the pitch of a track. They study pressure releases and how they show up in different terrains. They study different soils and how they react to walking, jogging, and running. They uh, also study how to measure trails and tracks. Again, this creates that foundation so that when they get on the trail, they can follow it. Now, as I said before, finding the track becomes everything. Now, success trackers, they do the same thing. They use the same skills as success snipers. They know the basics inside and out, and they use those skills and the knowledge to accomplish their goals within that one field of focus. Now, I personally fit into this category. I'm a filmmaker. It's been my passion for as long as I can remember. I do have a few passions, uh, such as filmmaking, storytelling, magic, wilderness survival, and yes, tracking. I enjoy tracking and others. But filmmaking is my greatest passion. It's what I love. Now, as you observe people from these two groups, you'll notice that trackers are also snipers. But snipers are rarely trackers. Not that they can't be. They just find too many different things of interest and they really can't focus on a single field forever. They might have multiple goals or targets that they pursue within a single field, 
but they will eventually step out of that field and do something different. Trackers, on the other hand, once they find their passion, that single field that they love, they stay there and they rarely get out. Uh, within that specific field, they act as snipers, targeting one goal after another, just like finding, a track, af finding track after track. But it's always related to that specific field of interest. Put a tracker into a field that they're not interested in and they will flounder. They don't feel fulfilled. They can feel trapped. As, as I said, I'm a tracker. I'm this way with filmmaking. Uh, in the field of filmmaking, I doggedly pursue goals and I love every minute of it. Uh, once I accomplish one goal, there's always another one to pursue. There's always something else to be learned and, and to grow and I can always be bettering myself. Um, and I can always make my films better. I never tire of it. Now, some days I'm exhausted from the work, um, but I'm ready and excited the next day when I can get up and get out of the bed in the morning to go do what I love. Now, I will venture out of, out of filmmaking and pursue my other goals, usually in my other areas of interest, <clears throat> um, such as my other companies and, and other hobbies. However, once I've completed that goal, I'm usually right back to filmmaking. Anyway, enough about me. Um, these people, snipers and trackers, they are the ones who become a success in whatever it is that they decide to do. And that is key. They decided to do it. They decided to take action on what they wanted. So thanks for watching. There are more great videos coming. If you find this information helpful, uh, please share it. Make sure to subscribe below and hit the bell icon and feel free to share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video.